the Illustrator, it can be a little overwhelming. You got a lot of tools on the left, you got a lot of panels on the right, you got a control bar at the top, and you've got your menus, of course, at the top, like other programs. It can just be a little overwhelming to look at it first, but it's actually not that bad once you get started. Um, first thing I want to show you is um, how to get everything set up looking the way you want to look. Um, I'm going to choose window and choose workspace. Now depending on what you're doing, if you're drawing, if you're painting, if you're proofing, there's different pr preset workspaces. You can also have your own custom workspace um, which I have here if I'm doing a specific task and I want my own panels open. But I'm going to choose window workspace and choose printing and proofing. Um, so if I'm printing and proofing a project this will give me the panels that I will most likely use the most. Um, and they're already open, they stay open right there. The other thing I want to make sure is open is my tools. That is window tools, if you don't see it, um, to show your tools. And your tool panel, you can grab this black bar at the top. You can move around, you can actually double click the black bar and it will actually um, make into a double column tool set. Um, and these tools are, are what you use to drive. This is what you use to control everything. Um, the main two tools I would recommend starting with are the selection tool and the direct selection tool. Selection tools at the top, if you hover over those tools you'll see that the shortcuts and the names come up. So if I hover over selection tool you see the V it says selection tool and in parentheses V that, that means that the V, no matter what other tool I'm on, if I hit the V on my keyboard, it jumps to the selection tool. Next tool down is the direct selection tool related to the regular selection tool. But the selection tool will allow you, once you start to have objects, you will be able to move objects around. You'll even be able to resize them. You'll be able to rotate them, and so on and so forth. Um, now, now your, your setup might be a little different than mine. You might not be able to reset or resize your objects. If that's the case for you, um, you'll want to choose view and show bounding box. You see if I hide the bounding box I'm not able to resize it like I was before. If you want to use that tool to resize your objects you'll want to choose view show bounding box. And that's it right there. Um, I, can, I can resize objects, I can move them around, I can manipulate them right right there with that tool. Direct selection tool is a little different. If I click off of my object or choose select and deselect, I um, I can just select individual anchor points. Now it allows me to move my, my object around as well, but you see when I hover over it, it says anchor. Now if you don't see this, these little green um, indicators, that's another feature I have on and it's usually on from the start. That is view smart guides. Sometimes they get annoying so I'll turn them off but smart guides the shortcut key is command U or control U on a PC but again if I hover over an anchor point and click on it one time and then click and drag again I can actually maneuver or manipulate that one anchor point so I can grab another anchor point and drag and click and drag and so I can make custom shapes by using this tool so it comes in very handy the direct selection tool is for moving the object as a whole um, it's for adjusting the object as a whole, um, but the direct selection tool is for more for getting into that object and adjusting individual parts of that object, such as anchor points, by clicking on those anchor points and manipulating them. Um, now, there's a lot of other tools, and I have videos on a lot of the other tools. Main thing to know um, at this point, if you mess up, is there is an undo in here. And you can undo quite a few times, but you can, you do have a limit. Um, you see that the shortcut key is Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a PC. So I often ha times have my hand on Control Z and I can undo many, many times um, if I wish to do that. And you also have a redo, which is Shift Control Z or Shift Command Z on a PC, where you can redo a bunch of, of um, task.